you have two progressive waves meeting at a point. And of course, this is shown the displacement time graph. Note that the x-axis is time. This is important. But they ask you, what is the phase difference? When they say phase difference, it's kind of like angle difference. One wave is lagging behind the other wave. And you need to find that in terms of an angle. Because, you know, we can express waves in terms of angle. One full cycle is 360 degrees, you know? So the other one is lagging behind. How much more is it lagging? So that is how we can find phase difference. So I'm going to show you ways to find that. So first, we need to find the time lag. Then we convert it to angle. So in terms of time, how much is one wave lagging from the other? So first step, choose a reference point. The same point on both waves. Actually, there's a few places to choose. I uh, see. If I want to choose this point, the wave will go up first, then only down. So I need to look on the other wave. This is probably the same point on wave number two. Actually, I'll use a different color to show that it's on a different wave. Here, it will go up first and only down. Oh, okay. Or there's another refer reference point on the same wave where you will go up and then only down. Oh, so there's a few answers, I guess. <laughs> so the phase difference, you can either use um, this one here. What time difference is this? Or this one here, time difference. Which one do you want to pick? Let's start with this one. I'll show you the other one as well. They are both correct answers. Lah. Sometimes they'll give you one or the other. So here... The time difference is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.3 seconds. Correct? But we need the difference in terms of angle. So usually we'll use ratios to help us out. So ratio, you can do this. The ratio of time difference over the period equals to the phase or angle difference over one complete cycle, which is just 360. So ratio of difference again over complete cycle. Difference against over complete cycle. Difference over complete cycle. Difference over complete cycle. You can do the same thing if it's in terms of length. Then the difference in length over the wave length. So let's do this ratio thing. Here will be 0 0.3. What's the period of the wave? You know, see the period. Both should have the same period. It should be 0 0.8. How do I know that? Nay, I look from here. Until here, that is one full cycle because my reference point has repeated 0 0.8. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Phase angle or angle, phase angle, phase difference or angle difference, is we don't know. We're trying to find that. So 360 and you can find that the angle difference or phase difference will be 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 times 360. That's 135 degrees. Oh! That's the answer. Very nice. Sometimes there's an alternative answer where you have to use the other angle, which is this one. Uh, this will be 0 0.4 seconds. It means there's two answers. Yes, there is two answers. I'll show you why in a bit. So if you want to use the second uh, difference, some past year questions are very troll. They will only give you answer for one of them. So you may not find the correct answer if you use that. Uh, you may not find the answer in the choices A, B, C, D. So this is also another phase difference. So this will be 0 0.4 seconds over 0 0.8 over phase difference over 360. So this one will give you a phase difference of... Ah, what is the phase difference? 180. And you're like, miss, there shouldn't there be two answers? Oh, wait, I see an, I see an error. I draw the arrow wrongly. Hiya. The reference point could be here to here. Ah, yeah, 0 0.5. Sorry, my bad. 0 0.5. But yes, you're like, miss, then how? There's two answers. Ah. So this is what answer? Let me do a correction right here. Da -da -da. So 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.8 times 360. There we go. 225. Wow. Miss, got two answers. Ah. But you see, 225 is not in the choices A, B, C, D. That's okay. That is also an answer, but it's not in the choice. In fact, these two angles are related. Do you know how they are related? Let me show you a picture. Or let me draw you a picture. In maths, when we learn of angles, we think of them as rotations from a zero degree reference point. So like here, rotate to here is 270 degrees, right? So if I have 135 degrees, 
That is going to be from here until somewhere here to this angle. And this is 135. But, but, this angle has a cousin, a relative. And that is, this other angle, if you go backwards in the negative angles. So what is that angle? 360 minus 135 and jing jing jing, moment of truth, it is 225. They're like complementary angles. Uh, okay, It's either you go this way or you go backwards in the wave and both are correct answers. It's just which one is given in A, B, C, D. Okay, so keep that in mind. There are two possible ways. Best is you mark out all the reference points and then you do your comparison like this. All right, so hopefully that was helpful in helping you understand phase differences a little better, especially when you have time on the x-axis. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.